Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Quentin Tarantino. Today we're going to be doing a foot tier list. My name is Dominic from Dominic Talks Movies and today I'm going to be doing a Quentin Tarantino movie tier list. And uh, as you can see here, I got all the categories perfect, amazing, great, good, and okay. Because I personally don't think there are any bad Quentin Tarantino movies. But yeah, we got all of them here. A quick disclaimer before we get started. I am one who is, I, I listen to Tarantino. And he says Kill Bill is technically one movie. It is all just a connected story. So I'm going to put both the Kill Bills as one movie i'm gonna put them in the same tier that doesn't mean i like one part more than the other i do prefer part one but it is one whole movie so i will judge it based off of both parts combined but without further ado let's get right into it and i think before anything else i need to get out of the way the only perfect movie i think is pulp fiction I mean, if you know me, you know that I adore Pulp Fiction. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's in my top five of all time. It's just phenomenal. Everything about it is amazing. And as I said, I do think it is a perfect movie and at least perfect for what I wanted it to be. But regardless, I do think it is a perfect movie and I think it is the only perfect Tarantino movie. Next up, I guess we'll go with Kill Bill both parts i do think that they the kill bill is a great movie i don't think it's amazing but i do think it's great it is super over the top super tarantino and I, that's what i love about it it's just so unapologetically tarantino he basically let loose did whatever the hell he wanted to do and kill bill is the outcome of that and i think they're amazing they're not amazing they're great movies but I just had a blast with them. They're so much fun. But now taking a little bit of a step down is Death Proof. I think it is his only okay movie. It's not bad by any means, but I just think it is the weakest and the one that I was probably the least invested in. Um, I actually, yes, it was not very strong overall, but it was good enough to hold my attention and it was Tarantino and it's kind of cool to see him do this kind of grindhouse sort of genre, I guess. But um, overall, it's Tarantino, so I obviously like it a little bit, but it's just an okay movie. It's nothing more, nothing less. Next up, Django Unchained. This is an amazing movie. I do think that this is my second favorite Tarantino film as of right now. Um, just so incredible the performances across the board are absolutely amazing the story everything like the dialogue obviously from tarantino which is always good is still incredible here i think everything is just amazing about this film there are a few phenomenal elements but i don't think everything is phenomenal so i don't think it is a perfect movie but it is definitely an amazing movie then we got The Hateful Eight. Um, you know what? I do think this is actually an okay movie. So Death Proof is not the only okay movie. The Hateful Eight is, it is on the verge of okay. So I'll put it right there. It's on the verge of okay and good, but I think it's just okay, at least for now until I rewatch it. But I think obviously the performances are great. Um, when you got actors of that caliber, you're obviously gonna get some great performances. Um, the dialogue obviously great, but I think it just felt a little uninspired. I wasn't super invested into it and it's just one of his weaker films, but I still like it. I would definitely rewatch any of his films basically ever because I really do like all of them. So yeah, next up we have Inglorious Bastards. I think this is another amazing film. I don't like it as much as Django as of right now, but it is incredible. I think it has a couple of the best moments in Tarantino films so you got like the obviously the beginning scene the ending scene um, just this whole story is just incredible such a unique take on World War II and I really love that 
The performances are incredible, the dialogue's incredible, the violence is great, and everything just works. It's just not a perfect movie, and I don't think the uh, I don't think the performances work as well as they do in Django, at least for me. Now, next up, Jackie Brown. I have been on record saying that I do think this is the most underrated Tarantino film because a lot of people say they don't like this movie. I think it is a good movie. I don't think it's as good as Kill Bill, but I, it's a high tier good, I would say. It is not, it's closer to Kill Bill than it is to The Hateful Eight or Death Proof. Um, I really do like it. I think Pam Greer was pretty good in the role and lead role. Samuel L. Jackson was amazing. Robert De Niro was good for the amount of screen time that he had. The story was pretty compelling for the most part, but a couple times it was a little iffy. But I think overall it worked for me. It was a little dragged out sometimes. The runtime was a little bit long and menacing, but I do think it was a good movie at the end of the day. Next up, we got Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I think this is a great movie. I think I'll have to put it... I'm going to put it above Kill Bill. Just barely. Kill Bill is amazing. But I do think a couple parts in the second part drag the movie down a little bit. Um, but Once Upon a Time in Hollywood doesn't really have a story, really, per se. It kind of just flows and it does what it does but I love that about it. It's such a chill movie. Um, it just does what it wants to do. It's definitely Tarantino's funniest movie, I think, as a whole. There are definitely funnier moments in some other movies, but as a whole, I think this is his funniest movie. Um, performances, obviously, are incredible by Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. Margot Robbie obviously gives a great performance, but she's really not on screen all that much, so that's unfortunate, but... I do really like this movie. I had a really fun time with it. The third act was what the hell. I don't know. It's just so crazy, but amazing. Everything works well. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is barely better than Kill Bill. But then the final movie on the list is Reservoir Dogs. I do think this is better than Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, but not as good as Inglorious Bastards. If I can move that, there we go. Reservoir Dogs is a great movie not quite amazing in my opinion um it was just really great performances across the board were great uh the story was pretty simple but executed really well i think the uh the element of kind of going back in time and then going back to the present was really incredibly done and it kind of paved the path for Tarantino's future with Pulp Fiction especially. I think it's the prime example of a story that's not told in chronological order, but I think Reservoir Dogs is really cool because it shows Tarantino more in his raw kind of stripped down stages of filmmaking when his budget wasn't as high with a film like Reservoir Dogs, which doesn't take place in many other places, a couple places, there's like a few locations, but there's like a warehouse and like an office. So like, you can tell it is definitely a stripped down version of Tarantino, but I think it works really well with that low budget feel and the acting is super real. It's super raw and I think it's really masculine. It has like a dirty energy almost to it. If that makes any sense at all, you know, it feels very aggressive and like in your face. And I think that's exactly what it was going for. And it did it incredibly well. But that is all of his films. This is the tier list. We got Pulp Fiction is the only perfect Tarantino movie, in my opinion. Uh, Django Unchained and Inglorious Bastards are both amazing movies. Reservoir Dogs, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and Kill Bill are great movies. Jackie Brown is good, and then The Hateful Eight and Death Proof are okay movies. And that is it for my tier list, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe down below. Also, turn on the post notifications so you never miss whenever I upload a brand new video. I'm going to be, if you guys want me to do more tier lists like this for other directors or different franchises, characters, stuff like that, definitely let me know down in the comments so I can make these kinds of videos for you guys. But other than that, that's it for me. I will see you guys in the next one.